Hello everyone, welcome to Spec eLearn, the online learning channel dedicated to chemical engineers. Compact heat exchangers part 2 Plate heat exchangers. In this video course, you will learn what is plate heat exchanger, operating in construction futures, characteristics of plate heat exchangers, geometric factors that affect its performance, performance analysis and types of plate heat exchangers. I would appreciate if you subscribe to the channel. It will motivate us to produce more valuable knowledge content for your career progress. So subscribe now before you forget. The second group of heat exchangers in the compact heat exchanger category is the plate heat exchanger. Operating and constructional futures of plate heat exchangers. Plate heat exchangers are commonly used when compared to shell and heat exchangers in heat transfer processes because of their compactness, ease of maintenance and efficiency. The temperature approach in a plate heat exchanger may be as low as 1 degree centigrade, whereas cell and heat exchangers require an approach of 5 degree centigrade or more. The plate heat exchanger normally consists of a series of corrugated individual plates pressed between two heavy end covers. These plates are gasketed welded or braced together depending on the application of the heat exchanger. Individual plates are hung from the top carrying bar and are guided by the bottom carrying bar. The tie bolts hold the entire assembly together as illustrated in the figure that follows. This figure is an illustration of a plate heat exchanger with counter current flow arrangement. The plate heat exchanger consists of several corrugated plates arranged in parallel and held in position between two frames and tightened by long bolts in four corners. Hot and cold fluid flows through alternate plates in counter current direction. The plates are pressed to form troughs at right angles to the direction of flow of liquid which runs through the channels in the heat exchanger. These troughs are arranged so that they interlink with other plates which form the channel with gaps of 1.3 to 1.5 mm between the plates. The liquid flow and circuiting are controlled by the placement of the plate gaskets. By varying the position of the gasket, liquid can be channeled over your plate or post it. Gaskets are installed in such a way that a gasket failure cannot result in mixing of the fluids. In addition, the outer circumference of all gaskets is exposed to the atmosphere. As a result, should a leak occur, a visual indication is available to observe. This figure illustrates the various parts of the plate heat exchanger package. Note the essential components such as the heat exchanger plates and the gaskets. The plates are sealed with gaskets which direct the two fluid into their respective flow paths. In this figure, you are shown the dimensional features of a plate. The important plate dimensions are length of the plate LP, width of the plate LW, diameter of the fluid channel DP, plate angle that is chevron angle beta, corrugation pitch PC, plate pitch small p.
the heat transfer surface area per unit volume for plate heat exchangers ranges from 120 to 660 meter square per meter cube. Plate heat exchanger manufacturers offer a wide range of plate corrugations designed to enhance heat transfer. The most popular types are the Chevron configurations. Chevron type generally provides the greater heat transfer enhancement. Material of construction of plates. The most common plate materials are stainless steel and titanium. Plates made from Ingoloy 825 Incoonal 625 and Hest alloys C276 is also available depending on the service requirement. Carbon steel is not used due to low corrosion resistance for thin plates. Characteristic of plate heat exchangers. The most significant characteristics of a gasketed plate heat exchanger are it can be dismantled for cleaning. The heat transfer surface area can be readily changed by increasing the number of plates. The high turbulence due to plate reduces fouling to about 10 to 25 percent of that of a shell and tube heat exchanger. Because of the high heat transfer coefficients and pure countercurrent flow arrangement, the surface area required for a plate heat exchanger is half to one third that of a shell and heat exchanger for a given heat duty. The near perfect counterflow in plate heat exchangers makes temperature approaches of up to 1 degree centigrade possible. The gross weight of a plate heat exchanger is about one sixth that of an equivalent shell and tube heat exchanger. The high thermal effectiveness up to 93% facilitates economically low grade heat recovery. Flow induced vibration, noise, high thermal stresses, and entry impeachment problems of a shell and heat exchangers do not exist for plate heat exchangers. Geometrical factors affecting plate heat exchangers. Before we move on, I would like to make a call to my dear viewers. Your Spec eLearn channel is one stop learning and skill development destination for your career needs. Get instant access to useful career oriented subjects and become knowledgeable and competent. So, do not forget to subscribe. Please press the subscribe button now. One. Chevron angle beta. Typically, beta varies from 20 to 65 degrees. Beta is a measure of thermal and hydraulic characteristics of the plates. Small beta, low thermal efficiency and pressure drop, and large beta, high thermal efficiency and higher pressure drop. Two, channel flow area AX. AX is the minimum flow area between the plates. It is estimated as product of plate corrugation depth B and width of the plate LW, that is B times LW. Performance analysis. To achieve high heat transfer coefficients, it is necessary to expend energy. 
With the plate heat exchanger, the friction factors normally encountered are in the range of 10 to 400 times those inside a tube for the same Reynolds number. However, nominal velocities are low and the plate lengths do not exceed 2.2 meter. Now take a look at the expression for the pressure drop delta P equals FLU squared rho divided by 2G times DE. In this pressure drop expression, the term U squared L is much smaller than one normally encounters in tubular heat exchangers. The angle at which the chevrons are inclined to the direction of flow of the fluid has a striking effect. For example, increase the angle of chevron from 35 degrees to 75 degree essentially doubles the heat transfer coefficient. This increase in heat transfer coefficient is accompanied by an increase in pressure drop across the plates with the associated increase in pumping cost. Types of plate heat exchangers Three types of plate heat exchangers are generally used in the industries. They are gasketed plate heat exchangers, welded plate heat exchangers, compo block heat exchangers. Gasketed plate heat exchangers for applications which require periodical cleaning of the plates to sustain performance, gasketed type plate heat exchangers are better option. The most conventional flow arrangement is one pass, one pass counter flow with all inlet and outlet connections on the fixed end cover. The main problem with the gasketed plate heat exchangers is the gasket leakage. The gasket used should be compatible with the process fluid. Another problem with the gaskets is temperature and pressure limitations. Generally, 175 degrees centigrade and 25 bar depending on the gasket materials. To welded plate heat exchangers. Plate heat exchangers with welded joints may be used with toxic or highly flammable liquids. But such units can experience difficult maintenance problems, particularly while handling liquids requiring frequent cleaning. Three, combo block heat exchangers. Combo block is a plate heat exchanger design that combines a whole range of technological advantages into one compact unit. The all welded plate pack does not have gaskets between the plates Due to the all welder construction feature, combo block PHE can operate with a wide range of aggressive media and at high temperatures and pressures. The corrugated plate pattern in the combo block creates an exceptionally high degree of turbulence. This results in outstanding heat transfer efficiency. Shown in this figure is the construction feature of a combo block plate heat exchanger. Combo plug plate is actually consists of stack of rectangular plates which are edge welded to one another to form channels with the 5 mm spacing. Liquid streams flow in cross flow to each other and each stream side can be configured to have number of passes as required to achieve the heat transfer duty and pressure drop limitations. The heat exchanger construction is such that it permits cleaning of the plates by water lancing as in the case of cell and tube heat exchanger. The access for cleaning inside the plates is obtained by opening the four frames on the sides as shown in this figure. Combo block plate heat exchanger can be used as coolers, 
heaters, condensers and reboilers. They can also be used with high versus liquids where shell and typical exchanger will have a limitation because of high pressure drop with viscous liquids. Please subscribe to our channel and get updates on the upcoming courses by pressing the subscribe button. It will motivate us to produce free knowledge rich video content for you. With this we have come to the end of the presentation. Please give your comments if any about this course after you finished viewing this video. Share with your friends and colleagues to reach out to large number of career oriented professional students. Thank you for watching.